Alright, hey guys, welcome back um, to the final calculator um, video. And I've gone over the code, I've tested it, and the good news is everything is perfect. So, you don't have to worry about going back and revising the code any because the code that we wrote is 100% uh, well, it works. So, anyways. So compile your code now, or if you're in an IDE like me, just run it. So, and here we go. My very first Java Cal. All right, that's cool. So, all right, I'm just gonna show you how it works. So you, my first number is gonna be five and five, and I'm press plus, and it's gonna say ten. Minus, it's gonna say zero. Times is gonna say twenty-five, and divided is gonna say one. So as you can see, there's no equals button, but each of these buttons acts as an equals button. So you could type in 35 and 5, and it's going to say 40, 30, I don't know, and 7. So now we'll check our data validation, make sure that's all good. Alright, so say I type in, uh, I'm really dumb, so I'm going to type in A. Uh, a divided a minus seven because I'm trying to cheat in my algebra homework and oh illegal data first field oh darn I guess I can't cheat in my algebra homework with this calculator <laughs> all right so now I'll try eight uh, r illegal data second field so like oh I got to type in numbers I get I bet okay eight minus nine is negative one point oh and 89 divided by 9, or 8 divided by 9 is point eight 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 eight. Alright, now we're going to test our late last data validation piece, which was the divide by 0. So, And you cannot divide by 0, at least I don't think you can, I don't know, but that's what I hear anyway. So you go uh, 20 divided by 0, and press divide, or right, first I'll w watch, plus it's 20. Minus is 20 times 0 and divided by. Oh, what? Cannot divide by 0. So, that last piece of uh, data validation is correct. So, I'm just going to go back and review the code one more time in case you didn't get anything. And if you still don't get anything, leave a comment and I will definitely try to help you understand it more. So, the first thing we did. We just imported our things, made our class, extends JFrame. We added four buttons, um, two text fields, and three labels. In our constructor, we set the layout to a good bag layout, and then we set our constraints to C, and they're equal to new good bag constraints. And then we basically went down, and we formatted our uh, calculator. So we first thing we put in was the uh, the enter the prompt for the enter for one, and then our num one text field. And then our enter to prompt text field and then the four buttons across the bottom. That's from here to here. Those are our four buttons right there. And then we went um we put a result in and that spanned all four of the columns. So the grid width is equal to four. And then we made an, an event. We're telling Java that we're gonna make an event class, and then we added action listeners to all of our buttons. So we went ahead and made the event class. It implemented an action listener and it had an action only one method and it was called action performed. At first we made these um double numbers. We tried to ma uh to get the information and if it returned um invalid, it said illegal data for either field. And if that worked, well then we went down and this had this string called op. So if the op equals plus, and remember it's a string, so it only looks for inside the quotes, so it goes up here, it's like, hmm, where do I see plus, where do I see plus, oh, here I see plus, right here, that means you must have hit the add button, and yep, we hit the add button, so it's going to add the numbers, and same thing for all these, hit the minus button, hit the uh, multiplication button, and this one's the only one that's a little different, if op equals divide, okay, hit divide, but, oop, Number two was equal to zero, if it was. So now we're going to set that text to, you cannot divide by zero, that's red. 
but else that means well number two is not zero so carry on as normal and we displayed the answer and then we went down and this is review here obviously but it's our main method and we made a, a GUI object we set the default close operation set it visible set the size and set the title and if you want you can change the title I don't really care I think I'll call it um, this calculator rocks alright that's cool so all of that and 135 lines of code not bad but obviously it's not um, an advanced calculator but it doesn't have the traditional you know um, buttons like one two three four five six seven eight nine zero but maybe I'll do one of those later on and if you wanted you could add like say you wanted to add a square root function to your calculator well you do like this you would go square root and then you go down to here and you put it in right after the divide and you'd probably set the grid x back to zero and just make it span all of them so make it span like four so the grid width would be four so like, uh, I'll just do it right here so square root is equal to new j button and then inside here just put square root if they don't know what that means well they can go back to high school and try to figure out what sqrt means and c fill uh... yeah you got your grid bag constraints and they're horizontal and you can semicolon and then your grid x is going to be about what would it be it's probably going to be zero obviously and then your grid y is going to be three and the grid width is going to be four and you're going to add it just like that and then alright we got that cool go down here and then after the else if op equals so right here you just put else if op equals uh, square root and then what do you want to do well we want to double square root is equal to math dot square root and then probably just number one so whatever they type in the n first number text field is going to be our thing so result set text um i'm just going to i'm running out of time so square root uh, okay you need i forgot you need a blank string and then a comma to just <sighs> all right um well anyways you could figure this out but then you just do this up here you set it and then that's just an example of how you could add more functions to your calculator so like you could add a power um, factorial you know all of those nice things but I'm running low on time so I'm not gonna go over that so hope you enjoyed this calculator series um, I think the next one I'm gonna talk about is drawing graphics on the screen like lines squares rectangles all that good stuff and yeah or maybe eh, I don't know but it'll be something like that so have a good day and don't forget to subscribe to my videos thank you